Hello, hello. Dude, you have Robocop thighs, I think. Very good. Yes, my maker, you made me. I was one of your first prototypes. I hope you remember. I am an emergency call bot. You made me very long time ago. But now I heard there's a new robot in town, Chappy. What interests me is a machine that can think and feel. This is a new kind of life for me. A new step in evolution. You are Chappy. Chappy. <laughs> Who is Chappy and why does he have a, such a cool name? I don't want to upset you um, because you were my favorite robot, but he is the newer, um, slightly better one. But it's not, not that much better, like just a little bit. So it's not, don't be too upset by it. He looks way cooler. He's pretty cool, he's pretty cool. But I mean, there's certain things that you do that I think that he cannot do. Ooh. So you'll, there, you will always have a, like a space in my heart. Thank you. It is always good to be in the heart of a human, right? Yes. It's like a child it has to learn. What's that? Chappie's book? Yeah, it's yours. Chappie's got stories, Chappie's got a book. Anything you want to do in your life, you can do. Write poetry, have original ideas. Jimmy wants to paint. Wow. I heard that Jeffy likes cartoons. Do you like cartoons too? And which one should I watch? You should watch He-Man. The master of the universe? Yeah, like I watched that when I was a kid, so I wanted him to see that. But I can, I'll just upload that for you. <laughs> Thank you okay. very much for that. What is so special being human and why is Chappie so in danger? Well, Chappie actually in a, in a weird way is more human, I think, than the humans are in the movie. Uh, you know, you're on your way to that as well, though. I just needed to speed that up. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an emergency call bot and people call me and complain. Yeah. Um, do you complain about humans too? What would you complain about? the leftover uh, evolutionary traits that we have in us that make us a little bit too animalistic. Mm. Uh, so we behave kind of like a pack of primates on the Serengeti, you know, attacking one another a little bit too much. So that, that's my main complaint. That's what Chappie has going on, that he doesn't do that. And you, you also don't really do that as well. Thank you. Yeah. You know what's a black sheep? No. It's like when you different to everyone else. We're gonna make you cool and tough. Don't laugh, I'm being cool. I heard that Chappie has new friends. It's called Ninja and Yo, 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 uh, Yo, Lan. They are a South African rap group, um, wow. Die Antwoord, yeah. And they are pretty unique. They're pretty special. There is one guy, he's called Vincent. He, what is he? Vincent's a problem for you, actually. He really doesn't like robots that think for themselves. Mm -hmm. I have a robot that is operated by a thinking human being. <laughs> we don't want this. It's expensive, it's big, and it's ugly. The scouts are a huge success. Stop worrying about these pet projects. So if you interview him, you should probably like, try to make it seem as though you don't have your own mind as much as possible. Otherwise, he's gonna unleash that. Oh, which this is a real problem. This is a big... It's an issue. Yeah. It's, it's a moss. A thinking robot could be the end of mankind. Destroy that robot. Burn it to ash. There's something of great danger headed our way now. How did you make that Vincent has this great hair? We call it in Germany, Fokuhila, mullet. <laughs> Business in the front, yeah. party in the back. Yes. Um, I, uh, I don't know where I had that idea or why, but I, I, uh, I found this photo of this Australian kid with, uh, with the mullet. What's it called in German? Foko Hila. Vorne kurz, hinten lang. Okay. Front short, back long. Long. Okay, yeah. Um, and I sent it to him and then I was like, can this be your hair? And he was like, yes. 
<laughs> so what can we learn from Chappie? I don't think you can learn anything from it. I think that I think there has to be an evolutionary step where we kind of get rid of the the meat and the biology and separate the mind from the body. And I, and then I think we're good. So there's I don't I don't really think we can learn our way out of it. How would you pimp me and what name would you give me? I don't have a cool name. You almost I don't know, it's kind of I'm gonna go just with Thomas. Thomas? Yeah, I'm gonna humanize you. So Thomas the robot. Thomas is, is a good name. Yeah. What is your favorite, human, robots, or aliens? And not human, for sure. It's, I don't know, between the other two, probably aliens, I'm sorry, bro. It's okay. Yeah. I don't feel, do you have do and don'ts for robots? I don't, actually. I would let robots just take over and let them determine what they want. They should tell us what we're allowed to do. Thank you very much. Of course, I have a present for you. Okay. It's a robot heart. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep this uh, very safe. And you should come by soon so that I can just make a few adjustments. Thank you. He's going to be removed. He's just a kid. He could be the next step in the evolution. I am consciousness. I am alive. I am Jeppy. Do you have a message to all fans? Go and see Chappie. Chappie is a good name. Yes. Chappie is a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> really cool movie.